Elizabeth Snyder, a longtime soap opera writer for Days of Our Lives, who also wrote on other soaps, has passed away after a brief illness. She was 60. Elizabeth Snyder, in memoriam born in January 1961 in Buffalo, New York, Snyder resided for most of her adult life in Pasadena. She became a writer's assistant at General Hospital in 1987 and soon segued into writing for daytime serials. Her writing credits include G.H., Another World, Sunset Beach, Port Charles, and The Bold and the Beautiful. However, it was in Salem, as a Days of Our Lives scribe, where Snyder had the longest run, writing for the Horton, Demera, Brady, and Hernandez clans. Snyder won two daytime Emmys as part of the day's writing team in 2012 and 2018. She also won a Writers Guild of America Award for Writing Days in 2021. She won a daytime Emmy in 2010 for writing B&B. Most recently, Snyder wrote for the day's Peacock series Days of Our Lives, Beyond Salem. Marlene McPherson remembers Elizabeth Snyder Snyder and her friend Marlene McPherson, former day's head writer, met in their early 20s. We immediately connected over our love of books and the beach and we became fast friends, McPherson shares with Soap Hub. Over the years, we became writing partners and wrote many spec pilots and movies. Our most treasured project was our series that took place in Kenya during the British reign. The scribes moved to Stamford, Connecticut in 2013 to become the head writers of the Prospect Park revival of All My Children, which can now be seen on Apple TV. We were very proud of the sex trafficking story, McPherson says. We wanted to shed light on this horrific crime. The scribes told this story with Angie, Debbie Morgan, and Jesse, Darnell Williams, and their daughter Cassandra, Sal Stowers, now Lanny, Days, Snyder and McPherson's holiday movie. Christmas Getaway, starring Bridget Regan and Travis Van Winkle, aired in 2017 on the Hallmark Channel. We went through so much together, good and bad, McPherson shares of her friendship with Snyder. We navigated this business together. Our children were the same ages and we shared those experiences. Her favorite place was Martha's Vineyard. She loved walking. Betsy was such an early riser, we'd talk story as she walked every morning. All her best ideas would come while walking, it was how she sorted things out. What I will remember most about Betsy are all the little things we shared and bonded over, McPherson adds, the inside jokes, the moments that made us laugh and cry. Her smile, her laughter, and her love of books. The Beach, Gardening, The New Yorker Podcast, and A Great Cocktail. She was so proud of both her children. She was the most loyal and true friend. She was more than my friend and writing partner, she was more like my sister. According to Legacy, Snyder is survived by her husband, Clay Marquardt, son Charlie, and daughter Anne. She is also survived by her father, George L. Snyder, siblings Philip Snyder, Julie, Amy Snyder Doldo, John, George Snyder Jr., Lydia, and Jane Snyder and step-siblings Catherine Lur, Mary E. Lur Johnson, Adair Lur Carney, Kevin, Julie Lur, and Marie Lur, John Paul Lur Jr., Florine Lur, and Eileen Lur. Snyder was predeceased by her mother, and Brad Snyder, and stepmother, Leah Lur Snyder. She will be greatly missed by the Noicks, Hamlins, and Mugglers of Buffalo, and Snyders of Ohio. Contributions may be made in her honor to the Writers Guild Foundation, which preserves and promotes the history and craft of writing for the screen. Check out Day's head writer Ron Carlevati's tribute to Elizabeth Snyder in the tweet below. Soap Hub sends sincere condolences to Snyder's family and loved ones at this difficult time. I wanted to take a moment to share with all the fans of it and days the sad news that one of our writers has passed away. Betsy was a kind, thoughtful person, a pleasure to work with and loved what she did. We already miss her very much. Hashtag days https colon slash slash t dot co slash 36024 vqsx4, Ron Carlevati, at Carlevati Iron, November 20th, 2021 ad block test.